What's going on YouTube? This is POB Wonderful here back again with another video. I know it's been a while. You know, I haven't tried to be more consistent. However, I've been getting a lot of pickups lately. Right now I got four jerseys to show you. Yep, four and a pair of kicks. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the pair of kicks first. These kicks that I found at a thrift store for 35 bucks, I got them authenticated, they're legit. And these are a pair of the Air Jordan 14 Last Shots. And man, must I say, these are some grails of mine early, um, for a long time. You know, especially got bigger ever since the Last Dance documentary. So glad to have these in my collection. And let's get right into it. You can see right here the big beautiful leather, soft leather. You got the big uh, soft suede right here. You got the Ferrari Jordan symbol over there. You got the tongue. I believe it says uh, Jordan right here on the tongues. You got the other side as well. Then the other side said that same leather. You got the hard carbon fiber at the bottom right here. Yeah, man, these things are sick. And I only paid 35 bucks for these. So, so glad to have these. These are a must have for anybody who you're into shoes. The Jordan 14s get that famous last shot against the Utah Jazz. If you haven't seen you know, that shot, let alone the documentary, I don't know what you're doing. You, these are must-haves in my collection. These are not going anywhere. These are my size, so glad to have these shoes. The Jordan 14 last shots or the breads, whichever you prefer. These are must-haves in the collection. So, with that being said, let's get into the jerseys. As you can see, I'm rocking my uh, authentic LA Dodgers Cody Bellinger jersey. That did get customized. It was a blank. You know, they did a pretty good job, I like to say, but yeah, super dope. Got the MLB 150th patch right there. So now let's get into the jerseys. First jersey that I want to show you is... Like authentic San Diego Chargers Antonio Gates made by Reebok. I know as a Raider fan, you know, me having a Chargers jersey, it's kind of taboo, but, you know, Antonio Gates was one of the dopest tight ends ever played in the NFL. So, lucky to have this one. So, let's get into it right here. As you can see, got the NFL equipment shield right here. Here you got 85 right here, triple stitched. This is a triple stitch jersey. Got triple stitch right there on the Charger lightning bolt. Triple stitch on the 85 right there. Single stitch with the Reebok logo. Here you got the jog tag. It is a size 48. Right there, it's equivalent to an XL. And right here, it is a made in Korea joint. I know you can see that, kind of a little faded. And then in the back, you have Gates. Single stitch on the nameplate with the 85 triple stitched. Yeah, so, no, such a dope jersey, those old Chargers jerseys. Uh, my favorite, personally, were the Powder Blues, and if I were to get a Chargers jersey, I'd want to get a Ladanian Tomlinson, because he was such a dope running back, and freaking killed us every time when we played, so I'd be one guy to have. Next jersey that I want to show, I picked this jersey up for 25 bucks, and I picked that one for 20 bucks as well. This jersey I picked for 25 bucks is my authentic road white Jerry Rice Raiders jersey. Because I have two of the black ones, one of them was a Helmet tag, the other one I did sell to a good uh, other uh, Kings of Throwback. Shout out to Isaac. Yeah, this is one of the best finds ever. No, only 25 bucks for this one. And yeah, that's the cop. So let's get into it. As you can see, all white. See, double stitch with the silver and the big black numbers right here. This one right here is a size 52. It's equivalent to a double X. It's a made in Korea joint. As you can see right here, 80 double stitch on the sleeves. Big Reebok logo, same with the other sleeve. And in the back, you got rice, single stitch on the nameplate. You got 80 double stitch right here. So, give one to the collection. Raider collection only getting bigger. Yeah, you cannot go wrong with Raider jerseys. You can match them up with anything. Next jersey was an absolute grail of mine. I've been wanting this jersey for so many years. This player's recently been, I believe, has been retired for about two years now, but he's one of the greatest power forwards to ever play in NBA history. And I'm so glad to have this one. And that would be my Nike Authentic Road. Dallas Mavericks, Dirk Nowitzki jersey. Dirk Nowitzki is just one of the best players to ever play in the NBA. Man, just one of the great, arguably the greatest European player ever. Like I said, won a league MVP, won championship against, you know, that Miami Heat team that was supposed to be unbeatable. Man, he just did everything. Best Euro player. You know, Luka Doncic is in the come up. Might take that spot one day, but right now it's still Dirk's to lose. And yeah, man, Dirk was such a beast. So if we get into it right here. Also, that old school Nike, you know, authentically made. It's a made in El Salvador joint. Here you got Dallas double stitch across at the NBA logo. 41 double stitch and that silver and that white. Here is the size 52. Like I said, mid 2000 Nike cut. Love those jerseys. And then in the back, you got Nowitzki single stitched across. You got the big double stitch star right here. And you got the big 41 double stitch. You got the big dark side panels. I just love the contrast with the blues right here because you got that dark navy blue. You got that. That sport blue right there. I don't know, it's just a dope looking design. 
Like I said, one of my absolute grails. Not gonna let this one go. Man, so it's, I love this freaking jersey, so I'm going to be keeping this one for the long haul. And the last jersey, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to the person who sold me this. You know, long, we, last time we talked, he said he doesn't want his name mentioned. Um, you know, I'm hoping I don't get you in trouble after making this video, but I need to show this jersey off. I've had this jersey for a while now. And it is one of my absolute, absolute top rails. It is one of the most difficult jerseys to find. And whenever these jerseys do get sold, it sells for a lot of money. He gave me a hell of a deal for this. So the jersey I'm about to show you right now is a Raiders jersey, of course. However, one of the absolute rarest Michelin S jerseys ever made is the 1970 Ken Stabler silver number white jersey. And this jersey is an absolute beauty. Not very many of these were made, as I believe so. Man, and like I said, when you, this jersey just, just turns heads and, oh man, like I said, just, you get lost, you, get, you lose your words because it's such a dope looking jersey and so old school and man, it's such one of the most beautiful jerseys out there. So let's get into it right here. It's a dury, it's kind of like a durine polyester mixed jersey right here. You can see the material is just really different. Got the big 12 double, double stitch with that big silver numbering there. You got 12 double stitch on the sleeves. So dope, man. Love this freaking jersey. Here, you got the jock, the, yeah, jock tag. Ken Stabler, Oakland Raiders, 1970. Mitchell and his throwbacks. You got the neck tag, made in Korea joint, because that's where these jerseys were made, all made in Korea. Then in the back, you got Stabler, single stitched on the name plate. Got the big double, 12 double stitched. Man, like I said, an absolute grail of mine. If you're a Raiders fan or a football fan of any kind, this is a must-have in any collection. you got to have this freaking jersey. And, yeah, man, shout-out to my homie who sold me this jersey for a great deal. And, yeah, this one is never going to leave the collection. Regardless of what anyone and King says, this is staying with me for the long haul. So that is going to do it for my video. I want to give a big shout out to Resurrection, who's been pumping out videos left and right. I love your videos, my man. Can't wait, you know, to see more and more of your content. Shout out to Throwback King, you know, with this Patrick Ewing shoes. I love those things. Shout out to Nostalgia Boy, who's got a great collection. Shout out to Mighty Mouse. Shout out to Big Slim, you know, making videos. Also, a big shout out to Pistol213. Welcome back to the YouTube game. Oh, man, there's just so many of you guys out there that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to watch all of you guys. Shout out to King Leonidas. I love your videos, man. You got one of the dopest collections out there. And, yeah, shout out to all the Kings of Throwbacks on Facebook. You know, shout out to all the Jersey Kicks and Lids. And you give a big shout out to the Pedals of the Metal podcast as well. Shout out to all you guys. So, yeah, be on the lookout. I will be making videos soon. I will be more uh, consistent with my content. I really want to, I really do. I do have other videos I'd want to make. I do have list videos. I do have opinionated videos. So, be on the lookout for those. So, yeah. This is Pupil and Fu and I am out. Peace out, guys.